In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Node.js on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of videos, we would like to install the Node.js on GoDaddy. So once you are at this page, of course, this step one is just to get the shell access and the first access you servers shell through the SSA. Then you'll have to check, of course, all the previous installs. By the time you re you're seeing this, uh, GoDaddy may already like install the Node.js.js for you. So of course, if, if it didn't, you'll have to install Node Virgin Manager. Of course, you can just go after that, check the NPM globals and add to bash startup. And of course, you can do all of that on the web hosting. You can just go to your name right here, then click at my products. And of course, if you scroll down, you'll find the web hosting section. Click on it to expand this and you'll find the manage option. Of course, not in this domain or websites and markets and you'll find the web hosting section for yourself. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.